How to Manage Multiple Series and Parallel Batteries Smart BMS makes it easy for you. After installing Smart BMS application on your mobile phone, open the app. In the first interface, you can see three options, single group, parallel connection, and series connection. Let's see single group mode. If only one group of batteries needs to be managed, then click single group, enter the device selection interface. After selecting the device, you can view and modify the battery data. In single pack mode, the data on the first interface is consistent with the data on the battery pack. Please note, in single group mode, only one device can be added. If you want to add other devices, you need to delete the current device. Parallel mode. If there are multiple sets of parallel batteries to be managed, click parallel. The app will remind the user to confirm the status of the battery pack. After confirmation, enter the device selection interface. After selecting the device, what you see on the first interface is the total data of the entire parallel battery pack. If you need to view the data of a single battery pack, click the battery pack at the bottom of the first interface. App can access up to six Bluetooth devices. After connecting six Bluetooth devices, you need to delete the connected devices before you can connect to other new Bluetooth devices. Series mode. If there are multiple sets of batteries in series that need to be managed, click series. The app will remind the user to confirm the status of the battery pack after confirmation, enter the device selection interface. After selecting the device, what you see on the first interface is the total data of the entire battery pack. If you need to view the data of a single battery pack, click the battery pack at the bottom of the first interface. After connecting six Bluetooth devices, you need to delete the connected devices before you can connect to other new Bluetooth devices. Manage multiple groups of non-series parallel batteries. If you need to manage multiple groups of batteries that are not connected in series or parallel, you can choose parallel or series mode. After selecting parallel or serial, the added Bluetooth device will be displayed at the bottom of the first interface. Which set of batteries need to be managed, just click on the corresponding Bluetooth device. Please note, in this case, the first interface data is invalid data, do not treat it as a certain set of battery data. How to set up reverse variable protocol on mobile phone? Smart BMS makes it easy for you. After installing Smart BMS on the mobile phone, open the app to connect a Bluetooth device, enter the secondary interface, click Parameter Settings in the bottom right corner, and then click System Settings at the top. In the interface, you can see two columns of Protocol and Communication Method. First select CAN or RS-485 in Communication Method, then select the Communication Protocol you use in the Contract class. After all are selected, click Settings and then click Read. If the communication protocol is set successfully, after clicking red, the protocol type and communication mode will not change and will be uploaded to the host computer at the same time. If the communication protocol setting fails, after clicking red, the protocol type and communication mode will return to the parameters before setting. How to modify the name of the Bluetooth device? Smart BMS makes it easy for you. The default name for a Bluetooth device is a long string of numbers and letters. This can be difficult to identify and manage. Now we can modify the device name on the phone. After installing Smart BMS on the mobile phone, open the app to connect a Bluetooth device, enter the secondary interface, click Parameter Settings in the bottom right corner, and then click System Settings at the top. You can see the device name column in the interface, change name here, enter a new name and click Settings. The new device name is set successfully. On the first interface of the app, you can see the Bluetooth device with the modified name. How to upgrade the software of BMS with only one mobile phone? Smart BMS makes it easy for you. In case of bug in BMS, adding customized functions, etc., need to upgrade software for BMS. In the past, only computers and communication lines can be used to connect to the BMS and operate on the host computer. Now we can do it on mobile. After installing Smart BMS on the mobile phone, open the app to connect to Bluetooth. After selecting the connected Bluetooth device, enter the secondary interface, click Parameter Settings in the bottom right corner, and then click System Settings at the top. You can see the BMS Software Upgrade column in the interface, click Upgrade to enter the security code. During the upgrade process, be sure to keep the screen of the mobile phone on, and the Smart BMS is running in the foreground. After the upgrade is successful, we can see the software version already update. How to check the lithium battery fault information on the mobile phone? 
and upload to cloud server or send email, Smart BMS makes it easy for you. After installing Smart BMS on the mobile phone, open the app to connect a Bluetooth device, then enter the secondary interface. Click Parameter Settings in the bottom right corner and click System Settings at the top, you can see the data reporting column in the interface. Click this column to enter the historical alarm record interface, the interface displays recent historical data. If you need to check more data, be sure to pull down the information bar to refresh it. Next, let's transfer the displayed historical data. Click the mailbox icon on the upper right of the interface, a dialog box cloud upload will pop up, on the left is to upload historical data to the cloud server, and then you can view the data on the cloud management platform. The email upload on the right is to send the data to the specified mailbox, click the icon and enter the mailbox in the dialog box. The above is the description of how to view and send historical data in Smart BMS app. If you encounter any problems during use, please contact Daily BMS staff to assist you.